Welcome back to another TV Royale's Best of Legendary Arena in the bottom blue representing the blue team, it's Rash. In the top representing the red team, it's SK Martin. Both of these players absolute top dogs in the Clash Royale community. And we're about to find out which one of them has what it takes here to take home some extra trophies. This tornado on defense from Rash actually gonna be a really good choice. He does activate that King Tower. Going to help him with the defense here against SK Morton. These are your stats of the game. As of me recording, SK Morton does have 7,500 trophies. Rash with only 7,300 trophies. Nonetheless, both of these players are absolutely top dogs. <laughs> <laughs> in the Clash Royale community. That Dark Prince getting a headshot right on that Mother Witch. You love to see it. Rash gonna take a couple more L's than he wants. This is a pretty big attack here. If that Tornado can clutch it and it does, then Rash is in a decent position. His Bomber gonna get one shot off, but not two. SK Morton does have a very, 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 very fast rotation deck like incredibly fast he's it's really hard to keep up with him now i've noticed by watching sk morton on both youtube and twitch that he likes to come up with new decks and he likes to just play the game like he's just a gamer he just loves the game okay and that's what makes sk morton a phenomenal gamer to watch he does stream on Twitch, so if you guys want to see a professional gamer with a variety of decks, Morton is your cat of fireball on top of that mother witch. Going to take her out. These bombers gonna come in. I don't think they're gonna get close to that tower with the Dark Prince on duty. Rash's Dark Prince gonna race down that right side. I don't think he's gonna make it to the tower though. Dark Princes, they do have a shield, but they don't have that much HP. This attack on the right side looked like it was going to be a big one. Turns out easily defended against him. As we do have a raged up goblin straight from his cage. Ready to go. Yeah. That cage might as well be a crib. Boom, it's like you woke him up out of his crib. And he's an angry baby. 25 seconds left on the clock, guys. We are in double elixir. This game truly can go either way. SK Morton does have more damage done to Rash's right side of the tower. However, Morton's deck relies on a strategically well placed small. Oh, big fireball! Oh my goodness, Morton's gonna get so much value. Oh my goodness. Spending six on that defense. He didn't even need that dark bridge. He just put it down to guarantee safety. A big tornado going to save that mother witch just slightly. Giving her enough time to pump out that big. <laughs> which actually defends that right side tower. Which works out for Rash. Because Rash is very, very behind right now. This is a decent sized attack here from Morton. I don't think it's going to do as much damage as he hopes. Because... Rush does have a counter attack coming in here. <laughs> On that right side, this dude, this laser turkey has not been working for Rush. This infernal dragon, this dragon with a laser beam attached to his head, just isn't working right now. Look at his dark friends behind him, <laughs> electro giant. <laughs> he gets logged. <laughs> He gets logged and unable to even connect. This Dark Prince from Rash has been essentially useless. His Dark Prince and his Infernal Dragon has been his bane right now. But his saving grace is definitely that Goblin Cage. That Goblin Cage has been so clutch. If Rash can rotate lightnings, he could actually clutch this game. As now it's super close. Morton let in those bombers, let in those pigs, and oh my goodness, has he taken too much damage. More damage than he would have hoped for with 400 left on his tower, 600 left on Rash's tower. Under 600 now. This game is super close. The lightning coming down, bringing it down to 100. There's a miner in the back with a soft fireball support, bringing that tower down to 1,000. Both of these towers are under 200 HP. 15 seconds left in armor clock. Oh my god, that's a tornado log coming down. I, fireball from Morton is going to seal the deal. And that's it with less than 15 seconds left in over. There's only 11 seconds in overtime. He took the game. Morton, absolute unit of scary savagery. 
take 24 trophies from Rush. And that, my friends, is a GG. I will be posting every day, so join the hype. Subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next replay. Bruh.